Another leading uh, mixing company which is using Magma to do a wide range of applications is XR. XR is using Magma for doing the digital uh, to chips as well as doing a lot of things in the analog and mixing arena using Magma. So XR has been around for about 40 years. Uh, we actually celebrated our 40th anniversary in April. So in that time frame, we're, we've really developed a broad base of, of uh, products uh, in four distinct markets. In the uh, power area, in the interface, in communications, as well as data common storage. We describe ourselves as a broad-based uh, supplier of silicon solutions. Our key uh, product where we lead the market is uh, in the UARTs. Um, we have a large market share there and um, we've uh, been selling those products for, for many, many years. And they're also been very successful in our interface business. In addition to that, we have leading technology called PowerXR. And uh, PowerXR is our programmable power line of products. Those products uh, go into all different kinds of end customer set-top boxes or uh, consumer products. Um, you know, being able to manage uh, four uh, power rails, um, you know, at the at a consistent uh, consistent view um, from the uh, uh, system standpoint. Well, the key trends that we're that we're looking at driving our market really is is uh, a lot of the green initiatives that are really driving data center solutions. All right. So when you look at the the broad range of products that we provide, um, we provide silicon as well as board based products, uh, as well as software that runs on those those products, and those are all uh, aimed at optimizing uh, the system level solutions. At XR, we design you know, mixed signal silicon, um, so it's, it's very important for us to have a good relationship with our EDA partners. Um, it's, we can't do our jobs without it, and so it's very key not only to have uh, very good products uh, from companies like Magma, but also to have a very good relationship to address the challenges that become greater and greater as we get into smaller geometries. So there's no, you know, I've never been a, a belief believer that one size fits all in terms of uh, software tools and, and, and EDA. And depending upon the complexity of your product, you're going to run into issues. And for us, it's really important um, that uh, we have those relationships so that we can handle and address those issues um, in order to get our products out. In our latest design, uh, which was a, a fairly large design. We built it hierarchically. We used some of the Talos products uh, in order to do some of the block level designs. So from the synthesis as well as uh, the timing perspective. And then we put it together hierarchically in a, in a larger fashion. So, but recently we've, we've started to adopt more and more of, of the Magma tool flow. And uh, you know, on our next generation 40 nanometer design, um, we will uh, tape that product out exclusively with the Magma flow. So we use Titan ADX uh, for the design of our temperature sensor. Um, it was uh, an analog design um, that we uh, put in our last chip, our last tape out. That, uh, that block uh, is used to uh, monitor the junction temperature within the die, within the part as, uh, you know, as the part is running. Um, and uh, so we had, we had fairly good success with that product as well.